from his hand. Norfolk! Yeah, me, me. Slow boy, dirty fatter. You have fog, fog, fog all bloody time. The play opens with Chris, Chris Stofferson, and his shipmate, a woman who's living on his coal barge with him, Marthy, in Larry's Bar and Pub in, uh, in New York City. The bartender, Larry, says, I've got a letter here from somebody from Minnesota. And he goes, okay, that's my daughter. And that the letter has arrived and she's announcing her arrival. And we see that, oh, it's his daughter. And oh my God, he, she could arrive like any second she could walk through the door. It starts his roller coaster. And it's, it's this amalgam of, of emotions, of regret, of sadness, of excitement, of fear. All these feelings that are flooding through him of, oh my God, what, uh, all this trepidatiousness of what am I gonna say to her? How am I gonna say it? Oh, she must be 20 year old, my old. You not seen her? 15 years. No, 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 she was a little girl, I was. Because he hasn't seen her for 15 years, since she was five years old in their homeland of Sweden. Tired to death, I need a good long rest and I don't see much chance of getting it. She's hoping that her father and her can rebond and reboot their relationship, as it were. I thought you'd have a place where, where maybe, if you didn't mind having me, that I, I could visit for a little while until I got rested up and... It has so many components all piled into one little scene. That's all you want by humanity. The next scene after that, they're on the barge. She's a little reluctant to go on a coal barge. But it's her father. We hear a voice of distress coming from open sea. It's Matt Burke. All you gotta do is find the girl. No, I have. This night she'll be having me. It is you I mean. It's like love at first sight. It's 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 like almost animalistic attraction. They're attracted to each other, and at the same time there's this huge, whoa! I I I, I like you, but stay away from me. Goodbye. Goodbye, is it? And Anna Christie then realizes this is the coup d'etat. She must say the truth. She can't marry Matt Burke. I can't tell you, Matt. And, and I won't. I've got a good reason, and that is all you need to know. It's this beautiful journey of these in, intense relationships. No old fool the like of you will stop us once I made up my mind. That when one kind of backs away from it a little bit as an overview, you it's actually no more, no less intense than any of us have experienced a relationship. Nobody owns me, see? So much goes on because the depth of their feeling and the depth of their attraction and the depth of their deeper feelings of regret and sadness and, and pain. I guess it's all my fault all bad things happen to you. You try for not hate me. I'm just crazy old fool, that's all. The audience leaving with whatever they just saw touches them at those levels in their lives of when they had a choice, a, a real choice, to forgive somebody or to hold on to the pain, the revenge, the, the regret, whatever. You know at the end of the day Maybe that you forgive me that so forgiveness good. sets you free. I'll forgive you now. It's a production that comes to a realization of fulfillment. It, you, you feel fulfilled.